Watch what happened while Harrison was driving his Tesla. He was going through an intersection when a Ford Flex driver ran a red light. Harrison had no chance to stop before T-boning the Ford on the driver's side. Thankfully, everyone involved was okay. From the moment they were out of their vehicles, the Ford driver denied he had run a red light. But Harrison told him, hey man, I got it all on video. They watched this footage together inside Harrison's Tesla before the Ford driver finally agreed that he had run a red light. Responding police officers were impressed by the footage, but they were not impressed with the Ford driver's lack of a driver's license. Harrison's Tesla was deemed a total loss. He'd purchased it for $68,000 in 2021 with the FSD option, and the same configuration now costs around $71,000. Even though the other driver is totally at fault, Harrison is still working with the insurance adjusters to settle on a replacement value for his vehicle. Harrison says the insurance company is using Kelly Blue Book to determine the value of the vehicle, but that evaluation doesn't accurately factor in the value of the FSD option even though it's a $15,000 add-on. This Tesla owner was driving his Model 3 in Seattle, Washington. He was on a highway on-ramp when, all of a sudden, a Jaguar bumped into him. At first, it was just a light bump, but then the Jaguar rammed into him, hit the curb, and sped off. Our submitter filed an insurance claim and made a police report. He says that the really strange thing was that neither one tracked down the Jaguar driver, even though he provided them with their license plate number, VIN, name, and address. Even so, his own insurance provider totaled his car and cut him a check for $60,000 US dollars. If we rewind a bit, we can see the Jaguar coming off the exit ramp on the other side, then turning around to get back onto the highway before crashing into the Tesla. Romeo Zahn was driving his Model 3 on a Los Angeles highway when the car in front of him suddenly caught on fire. If we watch that in slow motion, the fire looks like it comes out of nowhere with no sparks or visible gas leaks. Leave a comment if you think you know what could have caused this. Hey, nice Model X plaid, but that's not what this story is about. Gian was headed home in heavy rain after picking up his son from school. As they approached an intersection, Gian had no idea they were about to experience a close call he'll never forget. After crossing the intersection, an Audi merged into their lane just ahead of them. They continued driving behind the Audi, unaware of a surprise waiting up ahead. Suddenly, a large tree fell on the right side of the road, landing right on the Audi's roof, right where Gian would have been driving if he'd still been behind the Model X and the Audi hadn't merged between them. Gian told us he's grateful the Audi was there, even though it probably wasn't a fun experience for the Audi driver. While Matt was visiting Las Vegas, he was driving on a highway when the truck driver in front of him stopped to reach his exit. Matt was using autopilot at the time, so his car stopped with plenty of room, and the driver behind him was able to stop as well. Sadly, the driver behind them didn't stop and rear-ended them, almost pushing them into Matt's Tesla. Matt was able to punch it just before he would have been hit. As you can see, the Land Rover came within an inch of hitting his Tesla. Matt said, thank goodness for Tesla's instant torque. Emmett was driving his Model 3 in Carmel, Indiana, when a Toyota driver changed lanes without checking their blind spot and crashed into him. Or did he? When they stopped, the driver of the Toyota insisted he hadn't made contact and refused to give Emmett his insurance information. When Emmett showed him his Tesla cam footage, he shrugged his shoulders before changing his tune. Emmett's mirror was broken, and he's currently waiting for his service appointment to find out how much repairs will cost. Eugene had left his Model S parked. He got an alarm notification when another car parked a few spots away, took off, and sideswiped his Tesla. The other driver definitely didn't leave a note before taking off over the hill. Or should we say down the hill? Thanks to the Tesla cam footage, the police were able to locate the other driver and his insurance covered the repair bill of $2,500 US dollars.
Dave pulled up to stopped traffic at an intersection and noticed a guy casually walking toward him, listening to his tunes while his parrot chilled out on his shoulder. Dave did a double take for this real life pirate. Dane was driving in Los Angeles when a Scion driver squeezed between him and another Model 3. Now that was a close one. I wonder if the Scion driver even knew how many cameras were watching. Dane sent us another clip from the same day. Did you see that? Let's watch it one more time. Someone was walking between lanes down the middle of the highway in the middle of the night. We hope he got out of the road safely. While driving to work one morning, Nick captured footage of an Audi driver who clearly wasn't paying attention to the road, rear-ending the car in front of them when traffic came to a stop. Nick told us he noticed the Honda in front of the Audi barely had enough room to avoid hitting the Prius, and when he saw how fast the Audi was approaching, he knew he was about to capture a wham-bam moment. Due to heavy traffic and his need to get to work, Nick didn't stop to check on the drivers, but he did see at least one other driver pull over to assist. Jason's wife was driving his Model 3 to pick up the kids she babysits from school when she was caught in the middle of a storm. We've actually put together a song for these kinds of videos. All of a sudden, the storm pushed a tree into a power line and it nearly landed on top of the car. The tree came within inches of crushing the trunk and sprayed debris at the car. Thankfully, there was no damage to the car, but we can imagine it gave Jason's wife and the kids a big scare. This is Jason's first time submitting, and he wanted to say he loves our videos and he constantly watches them at work, even while he should be working. Thanks, Jason, and don't worry, we won't tell anyone. Christoph was headed home after a birthday meal at a restaurant. After waiting at a red light, he started to accelerate once it turned green. A car from the right blew through their red light and hit the side of the Tesla before the driver took off. Thankfully, a Montreal police van was right behind the hit and run driver and saw the whole thing. An officer jumped out of the car to contact Christoph while the other one raced to catch up with the hit and run driver. He did end up catching him and it turned out he was intoxicated. It took 25,000 US dollars and two months to fix the car. What a crappy birthday gift. Happy birthday from us, Christoph. This emitter watched a small van get T-boned by an ambulance. It looks like neither driver saw the other vehicle before the impact. The submitter said it even looked like the ambulance started accelerating slightly in the middle of the intersection just before the collision. Another ambulance that was also on duty was right behind the submitter and immediately took care of everyone involved. Charles was driving on the West Shore Expressway in Staten Island, headed into Manhattan when his radar detector started picking up a state police speed trap. The speed limit here is 50 miles per hour, so Charles slowed down. He confessed he was driving a little fast because a white Mercedes had been tailgating him. All of a sudden, a BMW driver in a big rush appeared behind the Mercedes. The BMW driver swerved around the Mercedes, then cut Charles off, and it looks like he hit Charles' car. Charles thinks he might have triggered the BMW driver with his custom license plate. It's a special BMW Car Club of America plate that reads Better M3. Charles pursued the BMW in an attempt to get the license plate number, but he said the driver was being an absolute maniac. Eventually, he pulled over, but he couldn't find any damage to his Tesla. He called 911 to report the incident, but the operator told him it would take over an hour for an officer to respond, so Charles decided to drop it. This submitter's Model 3 was parked while he was enjoying all-you-can-eat wings at Ollie's in Berlin, New Jersey. That's when the driver of a red Chevy was leaving jiu-jitsu practice. When he backed up, he hit the parked Tesla. Our submitter received an alert on his phone and ran out to check on his car. The truck driver came over and apologized, and they exchanged insurance information after talking. That's how things are supposed to go in these situations, but sadly, it's not often how things turn out. Check out this next video. 
While Jeff and his son Eric were shopping in a store, the driver of a black Toyota Camry parked right next to their Model Y. After sitting there for about five minutes, a woman opened the door right into the Tesla's driver's side door. After realizing what she'd done, the woman drove away and parked in a different spot, pretending that nothing had happened. Jeff discovered the damage after they'd gone home, and he'll be filing an insurance claim as soon as possible. Jeff asked us to wish them luck with the claim. Brian was waiting at a red light. When he got the green arrow, the driver of a BMW in front didn't see the light change at first, then sped off to make up for their lack of attention. He was T-boned so hard by a Honda that it spun the car around. All the BMW's airbags were deployed. At first, the driver said he was fine, but he ended up developing shoulder pain and was taken away in an ambulance. The BMW driver was so thankful that Brian had video and that he stuck around to wait for first responders. He emailed Brian later for the video and told him he was okay. Jeremy had passed a truck a few miles before and had commented to his daughter that he didn't trust a bale of hay that was stacked high and poorly secured. He'd passed the truck just in case the hay bale fell. Suddenly, the same truck sped past him just as the passing lane ended. Sure enough, when the truck went over a small bump in the road, a bale of hay fell off it. Even though this was a dangerous situation, we can just imagine Jeremy telling his daughter, See? I told you! This submitter was on his way home from the store after buying more cars for his diecast collection when he heard music in the distance. When he looked to the right, he saw two people riding horses toward the crosswalk and playing music from a speaker. He says the horses were dancing perfectly to the rhythm. Since Tesla cams don't record audio, we'll just have to take his word for it. We just can't get over the fact that this video looks very fake, like it's some sort of composited video. What do you think? Is it real? We ran a poll on our patron-only Discord server and people seem to think it's real, but we're still not convinced. Reason was on his way to work when another driver pulled out in front of him. The other driver was found at fault and cited by the police. It turned out they had no driver's license and it wasn't even their car. The car's owner only had 25,000 US dollars of liability insurance, which wasn't enough to pay for Reason's Tesla, which had been totaled. We showed you a short version of this clip for the first time in episode 199, but after getting the rest of the camera angles and details of the aftermath, it's time for a follow-up. You might remember that our submitter was driving his Model Y on a wet interstate in San Jose, California when he hydroplaned and crashed into the median barrier after driving through a puddle. Our submitter told us he expected the Tesla's all-wheel drive to handle the car better in this situation, but he's glad that the car protected him and his wife. They escaped the collision with mild seatbelt bruises and some muscle soreness. He told us he saw at least four other cars experience similar wrecks within sight of his own crash. After the collision, there was no power to the vehicle's cabin and he used the manual door release to get out of the vehicle. He's glad he learned about the manual release from a comment left on one of our videos. That's awesome! We love when our fans share knowledge in the comments. Here's a picture showing how the manual door release works. All Tesla owners should know this information. A police officer called a tow truck for our submitter while he spent about 20 minutes on the phone with Tesla Insurance. The officer didn't think it was safe for him to spend so much time waiting on the side of the highway with traffic zooming by. Our submitter told us the insurance process went smoothly. Tesla Insurance declared the vehicle a total loss based on photos alone, and it was taken directly to a salvage yard. Prices for new Teslas dropped right after this accident happened, and since Tesla Insurance reimbursed him based on the market value on the day of the accident, he was able to reserve a new Model Y using nothing but the insurance payout. In the end, he says he basically drove the car for 18 months for free. That's a pretty nice silver lining if you ask me. For once, we put the thumbnail clip at the very end of the video instead of at the beginning. What did you think? Should we keep doing that or go back to how we've always done it? Wham, bam, we got a Patreon, man. Please support the show.